In this video, we're looking at catapult launch and departure in the DCS FA-18 Hornet. Anti-skid is off for all carrier operations. Hook bypass is set to carrier. Flap is in the full position. Radar is set to operational. The APU is verified off. Takeoff trim is pressed. With weight on wheels, holding the button drives roll and yaw trim to neutral, the stabilator to 12 degrees nose up, and zeroes the mech stick position. Stick and rudder pedals are cycled. Trim is set for takeoff. For aircraft weight at or below 44,000 pounds, nose up trim is set to 16 degrees, 17 degrees if weight is between 45 and 48,000 pounds, and 19 degrees if weight is 49,000 pounds or above. At gross weights of 45,000 pounds and above, afterburner catapult shots are required. The altimeter and standby attitude reference indicator are set. The parking brake is released. The canopy should be down, oxygen mask on and the ejection seat armed. Taxi speed should be controlled at all times, especially when approaching the catapult. Takeoff checklist is complete, trim is set and flaps are set to full before crossing the JBD. The director gives the signal to spread the wings. The director makes a sweeping motion of the arms from the chest to the fully outward extended position. Five seconds after the wings are fully spread, wing fold is placed in the lock position. The catapult track is approached slowly, using minimum power, paying close attention to the director's signals. The director extends arms forward at shoulder level, with hands raised at eye level, palms facing backwards, and making a beckoning arm motion. The speed of arm movement indicates desired speed. To request brakes on, the director extends arms above head, palms open towards the aircraft, then closes fists. When the aircraft is aligned on the catapult track entry Y, the director signals the pilot to lower the launch bar. The director places right elbow in left palm at waist level, the right hand held vertically, then lowers the right hand to the horizontal position. Launch bar is placed in the extend position. The green launch bar advisory light illuminates and nose wheel steering disengages. The catapult crew installs the hold back bar. The director's signals are followed and the aircraft taxis forward. When the launch bar drops over the shuttle spreader, the hold back bar engages the catapult buffer and the aircraft is stopped. The pilot applies and holds brakes when signalled. Launch bar is placed in the retract position. The brakes are released when the take tension signal is given by the catapult officer or shooter. The shooter gives the run up signal. Power is advanced to MRT. 
the most power the engine can produce without afterburner. The launch bar is held down by shuttle tension. Engine instruments, EGT, RPM and fuel flow are checked and CWS indicators and lights are monitored. The shooter is saluted with the right hand. To signal the launch, the shooter touches the deck and points in the direction of the launch. At the end of the catapult stroke, the aircraft rotates to capture the trimmed angle of attack without control stick input. The flight deck edge passes under the nose at 120 knots minimum and the pilot rotates to 10 to 12 degrees nose up attitude, establishing a positive rate of climb. Gear and flaps are retracted when a positive rate of climb is established. When sufficient speed is attained, a clearing turn is performed. The clearing turn is made 10 degrees to the right when launching from a bow catapult or to the left when launching from a waist catapult. Clearing turns are not performed at night. Case 1 departures are flown at 500 feet and 300 knots parallel to BRC until 7 DME. At 7 DME aircraft are clear to climb unrestricted in visual conditions. As always feel free to like comment and subscribe.